Okay, today we're going to um, replace the chip in the ECM. Uh, this unit comes with a field replaceable chip, a FRC, and this chip is provided in case the timing is too high with a standard ECM. If you've already tried to move the bracket all the way to the left and you still experience some timing, you may need to replace this chip. Um, the tools for this are for a uh, to remove the chip from the prom holder itself would be a uh, very thin razor blade top device and a screwdriver and of course you'll need your replaceable chip don't worry so much about the numbers the chip that comes in the unit is the highest timing the number on the end does indicate the timing but the higher the number the lower the timing so you're re going to re be replacing this chip to get lower overall timing the first step is to actually remove the prom uh, the mem cow from the ecm there's two um, little tabs on each side one white one blue you just take those pop them to the right and to the left and the unit comes out it can only go in one way on the bottom side it is slotted so you will see this slot that will keep you from uh, uh, putting it in backwards but the easiest way to remember from the, from this part just make sure that the uh, chip is to the left okay to remove the uh, chip from the uh, memcal carrier go to the side that's been cut down where it allows you to see the chip and very lightly get up under these tabs these tabs will break very easy so start edging them up on each side one at a time very easy and then you'll see it start to come up if you press on them too hard they will break off and you'll have a chip that is uh, non-secure these things are very touchy be careful with this razor blade because it will take off a finger or two and the blue carrier comes off now you have the chip exposed. The chip is very fragile and sets inside of another carrier. So what we want to do is take the screwdriver and get up under the chip, not the carrier. If you get up under the carrier, you're going to break the EEPROM and need another one. Up under the chip, lightly start pressing up and down and start moving the chip up. As you move the chip up, move in. Be very, very careful. This is the part that where you screw this up, there's no uh, second chances. And you just pop the chip up, the chip comes out. You can see there toward the end, boom, voila, you have the chip out. Now you want to put the new chip in. This is the field replaceable chip that came with your unit. It has a notch, just in case you forget or lose your orientation, it has a notch on the end. This notch goes to the outside. Don't worry about which way the numbers are lined up. The notch goes to the outside. I'll say it again. The notch goes to the outside. Make sure when you start putting this chip in to line up all these pins properly. This chip has been pre-bent for you, so to ease in your uh, installation. But as you start to go down, you'll notice some resistance a little bit here and there making sure it's not binding make sure none of these pins start to bend as you start to uh, put it together slowly and securely press those pins in and they're in just that simple okay notches on the outside all the pins are in none of these pins are bent up double check both sides looking good then you put the carrier back on Put the carrier that has the cutout side on first. It's the most fragile. Put it on first, then push it over and snap it down. Hate to see you break these things off because they are a little expensive and hard to come by. Snap those in and there's your prom that goes back in. Now it's time to go back into the ECM. We'll try to pick this up. Spin the ECM around. You can do this inside the car. 
I prefer to do it out for the demonstration. Notice that the chip has the uh, orientation tab on it. I'm putting the chip to the left from the back of the unit. Doing it one-handed while holding the camera is not as much fun as you'd think it is. But all you do at this point is press down and the arms come up. When both arms are up to their full lock, lock position, that tells you that you've got the MemCal installed properly. At this point, put it in, start it up, and it should run fine. If not, pull it back out, look at your uh, procedures, and make sure that this MemCal is properly uh, seated. If not, you may need to look at that chip to make sure you don't have a bent or missing pin. That's it for now.